Welcome to Radiation Test. And today we're going to be evaluating the results of our routine monthly November mushroom test. And just to let you guys know a little bit about mushrooms, they grow real fast, they absorb uh, nutrients and toxins out of the environment, and they would also absorb radioactive contamination. And the Japanese government has been doing routine sampling of the food products over across the Pacific and on September 27th in Chiba Prefecture uh, they discovered some shiitake mushrooms that was contaminated with 1,955 becquerels of cesium per kilogram and that just goes to show guys that uh, you really have to watch these when we're dealing with uh, radioactive contamination so just to get right with it we're going to look at our graph up here. I put the mushroom in front of the Geiger Mueller tube at 8 p.m., which will be right here. And the graph is currently displaying three hours of data. This is 90 minutes of background radiation. And this is the mushroom running. So, we're going to look at the high points. We have 26 here. 25 right there, 27. Here's 34 in our background. So they look pretty consistent all the way across. And then we'll have a look at the low end of the graph. There's 8 counts, there's 7, here's 6. So uh, it does appear as though the low counts are consistent too. Now I did notice that if you look on the left side of the graph and then look on the right for the mid counts, it it's hard for me to tell, but it kind of looks like there may be some inconsistency in the mid range. But that's you guys can look at it for yourself and and decide. Uh, but as far as I can see, it does appear to be consistent. So. Thanks for tuning in to Radiation Test, and uh, we'll be keeping an eye on your food for you guys. Thanks a lot.